budget time coming up down under in Australia, Andy, and the Prime Minister wants to raise taxes on the rich and cut social welfare programs just as the mining boom has run out of steam in Australia. Yes, Tara, and not a great idea because this no. is a sort of deficit and debt paranoia without much of an economic rationale to it. Now, Australia's gross general government debt is under 30% of GDP, which is among the lowest in the rich world. And the deficits are projected to be larger than before the elections, primarily because the mining boom is fading, uh, the economy is slowing, and therefore it is only natural that tax collections will be lower than previously thought. So let's call it arbitrarity, this austerity plan, which along with Treasurer Joe Hockey, Abbott is looking for steep spending cuts. It sounds like it's not a wise idea. Yes, uh, Abbott's austerity or arbitrarity, as you call it, can backfire. It will remove private spending power from the economy at the wrong time. If households still want to keep spending, they will have to borrow against their wealth, especially housing. That, we have seen elsewhere in the world, is not a great idea. But yes, if the government, let's say, doubles down on infrastructure investment by encouraging states to sell assets and use the funds for new roads, etc., then some of the contraction from austerity will get offset. And we do have some early indication that this budget will have some of the infrastructure spending as its main thrust. So that's, that's good news in the budget. Okay, Australia's budget coming up. Look out for austerity. Too much of it. Not a wise idea, says Breaking Views. Mm -hmm.